Are we focused? Are we excited? Right guys, I have a table where I can place my coffee so I don't have to sit on the floor anymore. More furniture is coming in. Here is the marble table. Excuse the child's toys in the background, but we've got a conversation to have. We got to have a little chin wag, ain't we? It's been a long time since I've filmed by myself. As you know, my mum is gone back to London. It's sad, but it's okay because I need to get my life together. I need to get stuff happening and, you know, get on with life. Hopefully she'll be back soon. Um, I'm glad you've been enjoying the videos with her and everything is hunky-dory. Anyway, this video is called Designer Bags Are Done. It's obviously a reaction to HIH Collection Alex, I think her name is. I had not discovered her channel before this video, okay? And since discovering this video, for those of you who have not seen the video, I'll link it or I'll explain it to you briefly. And then the second part is kind of talking about Erica's girly world and her opinion on it. And it's not just talking about them, but Alex's video, HRH Collection, has prompted me to share my real opinions. You guys have never heard these opinions before, okay? These are my real opinions on luxury bags at the moment. Let's have some coffee. Listen, okay? Because my channel has kind of developed... I've done vlogs, I've done this, I've done that, but the thing that people come for the most and love the most is when I talk about luxury fashion, especially bags. I guess it's because it's my mum's love for them, etc., etc., and all that stuff. We all know that luxury bags are kind of like the thing on the channel, right? I've always struggled to kind of explain to people that just because I talk about luxury on this channel, it doesn't mean that I talk about luxury in real life. Like, for example, hi, let's actually get acquainted. There's never been an occasion, except for when it's in a direct conversation about, oh, did you buy that? That's new. Yes, I did. Where I've discussed luxury fashion with any of my friends or my mum. In any way, I just don't talk about it. It's not a subject that interests me. It's not a subject that um, I like to converse about. It's just not the vibe, as HRH Collection would say. It's just, I mean... I don't even know how to discuss something like that. I, I discuss completely different subjects. I love fashion. I love it for fun. I love to wear it, but it's not something that pre preoccupies my mind. It's not something I get hung up about. And I think the previous video that kind of went all over the internet that I did about my homegirl in Melbourne, forgot her name, where she was very upset and crying that she didn't get a Birkin, got the traction is because I really don't identify with that type of personality. And it's gonna bring me back to Alex HRH collection video and Erica's girly world. I don't identify with the desperation that people have to get a designer bag. And the reason I'm kind of going off, yes, I'm saying it, I'm going off the whole designer bag acquisition vibe is because, simply put, it's deeply uncool and unconnected like where does that desperation come from i've been in the luxury space so i have people messaging me and telling me how they feel so sad how something's happened in their life and they don't feel like their sales associate and hermes is going to give them a birkin how you know they've been many many months and it's just not working seriously stop hammer time is this really your preoccupation I've made several com comedy like videos, they're a little bit comic, like my Cartier, how I had a breakdown about the bracelet sizing, like it's all fun and games, right? It's a lot of money. If First of all, okay, let's rewind. If you can't spend that kind of money on a designer item and it's giving you that much stress, then you should shop in a place you can afford. There's some things I would never buy because the stress of having to afford that and pay for that, it's I cannot replace it. I cannot easily replace that item. So it's just not something I would do or should do. It's just reasonable spending, okay? But if you can afford it, but you just can't buy it because the sales associate's not selling it to you or whatever myriad of reasons that you can't get the bloody Birkin and it's causing you that much drama and stress, you've got to sit down with yourself and think, why is my whole emotional health standing on the precipice of this blue, yellow or bloody golden bag? Are you serious? Why is this causing you so much grief? What's it attached to? You've really got to delve into yourself. So that's my opinion, right? I think if you cannot separate the fun of fashion from the reality of life and the real joys of life, seeing your family, going for dinner with people you love, like seriously, hello, please wake up. 
then then you really need to sit down with yourself okay like i cannot identify i can't even identify with things like people get really hung up on like the exact color that they might need look i know i love fashion too i get excited by it but it's there for fun it's the same as like movies are there for fun right or, or to expand your mind in some way if you're going to get stressed about what movie to go to like nobody goes to cinemas anymore but let's just say you bought a ticket to go to cinema and you're going to get that stressed and cry about the fact that you don't know which movie to, to watch then we need to address other things and not just the movie that you're going to watch because it's clearly something's happening here anyway that's my opinion i've been holding it in it's all come out whatever ah, doesn't mean i don't love luxury i still do I do because I love all of life luxury. Do you know what, do you know what luxury is? It's a luxury to, to, to have people you love. It's, it's a luxury. A luxury is the enjoyment of something in an indulgent way, right? So you can do that with anything. It could be a luxury to sit down and have some tea after you've had a kid, let me tell you. Let me tell you with a toddler, that's a luxury. Back to HRH collection. The girl, if you have not watched her videos, watch her videos because, oh, I think she's a marketing genius. It's gotta be that. It's got to be that the personality is just off the Richter scale uh, in incredible. Like I've never seen anything like it. It's amazing. It's amazing to watch. I watched like six videos in a row as in like not sat and watched, but like had her on in the background. It's just so funny. She's a whole walking meme. And I actually think that she'd be a really chill, awesome person in real life. That's just my controversial opinion. A lot of people think she's a little bit crazy, but crazy is quite good. She says in this video that designer bags are over and she compares them to designer jeans. You guys remember in the 2000s where anyone had to get um, apple bottom jeans, boots with the fur, had the whole club looking at her. They had to be seven mankind or whatever, right? They all had to be a designer. And if you weren't Paris Hilton and wearing those designer jeans, it was finito, done for you. And now you can get jeans from Zara and you look amazing. You can get jeans from anywhere. It's just the brand on the butt of the jeans is just not the vibe, right? And I've been seeing this with bags recently because I'm just so in tune, you know, with fashion. No, I'm joking. I'm really not. Um, but I have seen the lack in me personally to want to go and spend the ludicrous amount of money that bags cost right now. I'm talking about those LVs, the Chanel's, the Hermes, right? The seven grand on a bag. And I'm thinking to myself, why is that? Is that because the panna cotta just happened? Um, I'm changing the word because I don't want this video to be about that and for YouTube to pick that up. Um, is that why the, the global situation happened? Is it because, you know, I had a kid? Is it because this? Is it because people are just changing in their perceptions? Is it because it was exciting for me when I was in my early 20s and now in my 30s? It's just not as exciting. I mean, like clubbing, for example, you get so excited in your 20s and then in your 30s, you're like, nah. But I think the reality is, is that nothing in culture and fashion is culture stays persistent and the same. Let's explain, shall we? Everything moves. What your parents think is cool, you don't think is cool. What your kids think is cool, you don't think you're cool. Da, 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 da. Everything has to move. For example, when I was growing up, every teenager wanted to drink. Then Gen Z don't want to drink. They want to be healthy. And how to be that girl trend is how to have green smoothies. Let me tell you, when I was growing up, if you told me how to drink green smoothie when I was 13 years old, everyone would have laughed at you. All people wanted to do is drink beers and smoke, like that was the cool thing. So I'm just watching this designer bag situation happening and I'm like, huh, let's put it this way. If you have a very cool outfit, right? And HRH collection says this, Alex, I'm gonna call her Alex, says this, her name's Alex. And you put a bag with it, it's ruined the outfit. That's what she says. And I kind of get it. like. My connotation with the woman who buys extreme luxury bags, I'm not just talking about like one Fendi baguette here and there. I'm talking about those extreme luxury bags is that she's probably slightly neurotic. She's waited on the Hermes list and stalked the associate for a long time. This is probably because I've had this channel. So it's kind of dampened it for me, but I don't know. I imagine like, imagine you put on this really cool outfit from the row or somewhere like that, right? And you're standing there and you're looking hot and then you put with it a Chanel classic flap. I don't know, it just straight away gives you this neurotic personality or something. Let me say, I'm still gonna wear mine and I still love my Birkin and I still love all that, but I don't necessarily feel when I wear it that I'm like the cool girl or the sexy girl. And furthermore, with the Birkin, Jane Birkin, who it's named after, wasn't, in fact, she said she wants to throw the Birkin on the floor and stamp on it because she just thinks it should be so casual and trashy. She's a French girl. Come on, get with the program. 
I think that there's going to be this injection of like cool back into fashion and there's got to be it can't be this retentive and like oh you're gonna get the Birkin and I'm nah, sell the associate it's not fair like I, I can't I cannot stand it I can't I can't as Alex would say get get out of my class get to the back of the class you rat or whatever she calls people it's hilarious I love being called a rat by Alex it's fun I think there's gonna be a shift in fashion on a serious note and it's got to be back to that kind of like what even Jane Birkin herself said about having a Birkin wear it casually or don't wear it okay I've summarized how I feel I think the designer bags have to be worn with a cool girl aesthetic or not worn at all. For me, you wear it how you want to wear it. Wear it on your head, sell a tape on your head and you go because I very little care. English is my second language, okay? I very, I very little care. <laughs> I very little care about how other people wear their fashion. That's just not in my, you know, concern. If you ask me and you're my friend or, or you're, um, subscribe to my channel. I I'm a there for you. I'm gonna help you. Like I'm, I'm. If anything, I'm there to have a chat. Even if you don't want to chat, I'll pursue you to have a chat. That's me, right? But I just do what you want to do. But please don't be so neurotic about it. So that's Alex's point of view. Then Erica's girly world made a video, and she's got a point of view where she also is tired of it, but from a different perspective. She talks about the fact that she's tired of the designer bags because all the influencers, from what I understand, I'm sorry, I'm paraphrasing, paraphrasing Erica if you watch this, but from the point of view that a lot of the influencers are getting these bags borrowed or loaned by the brand or for free and it makes the luxury market seem like this treadmill that you can never catch up on and that you're always trying to, you know, achieve some kind of luxury goal and all these influencers are just rotating bags and they don't even have them themselves and it's not any longer a luxury and you don't have to work towards it and it's just like bleh, everywhere yet the bags are costing as much as a house right i kind of agree on this i mean it's not debatable that is what's happening but i also have a very not realistic everyone's realistic eric is one of the most realistic people i've seen online she's very very right and very very you know opinionated in her own way of what she thinks so i know she understands this but when i see influencers with bags I don't see that as anything different than a magazine. I don't see that any different than I used to look at Vogue or Cosmo. I see that as just as advertising. And I know influencers started as your girl next door who used to show you stuff, but it's built an industry. And I appreciate that industry because it entertains me. But I also know that there's gonna be fragments of uh, first of all advertising, paid ads, right? I want those girls to make money understand that blogging and vlogging and influencing is such a female dominated business and I really love that they can make money for themselves and entertain me while they do it good on you so for me it's like this when I look at an influencer with a new bag I look at it like I opened a Vogue magazine and I just saw the new bag and how it's nice to wear it I, wear, I watch Tamara a lot and I'm like when I start dressing up again and I will I'm gonna wear those outfits with that bag potentially blah blah blah. It's not necessarily that I have to go and buy that bag It's just she's showing the newest bag Cool, but what has put me off the bags and the reason I don't have any bags on my wish list at the moment It's just because they've given me a bit of a mm, like everything I do is Aiming towards being a version of myself that I admire. I want to be a different version of myself tomorrow I'm working on myself in those type of ways right and when I see a bag that's not adding to who I'm trying to be this Apple watch with my fitness statistics is and that's a luxury if you want to buy an Apple watch to track your bloody walk or whatever jokes aside though I just I just I've lost a bit of the passion for hunting for these bags and all that stuff because that's just never been me and that's just not the type of mentality that I have and it started to become that with these bags. Everyone, let's just chill out. Let's enjoy life. Let's be grateful. Sign up on the wish list. You might get a bag, you might not. It's not that deep. Seriously, it's really not that deep. You know? And furthermore, at this point, maybe you agree with Alex. Maybe the bag that you've been waiting for for five years and spent your mortgage on is actually ruining your outfit. And I know we shouldn't dress for men, right? But for those ladies out there who are heterosexual, I've never in my life 
seen a man go, oh my God, she's so hot. Did you see her Chanel bag? Did you see her Birkin? Stop it. Again, we don't dress for men. We dress for each other. Everybody knows that. But have you ever walked into university to apply for a spot? And they're like, yes, she's got a Birkin. She must be smart. Yes, she's got a Birkin. She must be hot. No, it's just a for you. It's just for fun, for you. So let's, let's make it fun. And if we can't, then I'm canceling it. I'm canceling designer bags. We're moving on. Do you guys remember, like, it used to be all about makeup. Like Erica's girly well said that. That's where I'm getting this from. It used to be all about makeup on YouTube. Who buys a crap load of makeup anymore? You have your staples. That's what you use. You know, fashion moves, times move, the world moves. And that's my feeling on that. So from now on, this channel is going to be all about uh, construction and uh bricklaying no i'm kidding i still love luxury i love it for the fun of it though so let me know your opinions let me know how you feel what's your vibe let me know what you want to see on channels these days like you you click on you guys used to click on i'm one of you guys so i used to click on to watch makeup tutorials nobody wants to watch makeup tutorials anymore maybe unless you want a specific thing like a specific look what do you guys click on to watch on youtube in the in the female dominated space what do you what do you click on unboxings i don't know i'm over it i'm over unboxings i've got a hermes bag i wanted to show you i could have filmed an hermes bag unboxing today but instead i did this so let me let me know what you saw and if you and if you still want to watch unboxings and new bags let me know i won't come for you all right guys i love you lots see you on the next one